Dear July, when I was a tiny baby child, but less tiny baby and more child, I always prided myself on being a good listener. I was quiet. I didn't like talking much. I was shy. But I could listen, and for the most part I enjoyed it. I always defined myself as such. I am a good listener, I would say, to myself and to other people. July, you are a month, so you can't really talk back, which is good, because I'm tired of listening. I want to talk. In this safe space where only YouTube commenters can correct me if I'm wrong or tell me that I'm stupid. But for all intents and purposes, I get to talk and you have to listen. This is what I look like. I suffer from office aircon skin and the grow out phase from a drastic haircut. Sometimes I imagine I look worse than I actually do. Like a lot of women, I place unattainable high standards on my appearance. I try not to give a damn when I'm too tired to make my hair or makeup look decent. But in reality, that little voice inside my head is a bit disappointed if I don't at least look scruffy cute. This is what I'm reading. It's about an alligator. That's about all I know right now because I'm only on page four. This is a book Ross brought home for me. Someone left it in where he works, and now it is mine. People below the age of 20 may want to turn off their portable electronic devices now because I'm about to drop some real uninspiring shit. In school, I can both clearly and foggily remember sitting in a blue plastic chair. I was ready to write down my goals. Goals. I always found them daunting. I resented them. Get good grades in high school so you can go to a good college or university. Then get into that good uni. And get good grades again. Then work for free until someone values your work enough to finally pay you so you can survive. Then get a job. And then... July. That's where I am. I'm at that. And then...